I think it's very important in a marriage to have a good sex life. When you are married and you enjoy being with each other, it helps you to become closer and feel more connected with each other. But in order for that to happen, there are some things that you are going to have to do on a regular basis. In each one of my videos, I'm going to share some tips with you. And if you will apply them to your life, I guarantee you that they will help you have a good intimacy relationship with your spouse. I have created a series of videos about this topic. Once you get done with this video, make sure you check my other videos out as well. I don't know why, but I've always had a hard time with just coming out and telling my husband that I want to be intimate with him. But I found out that there are ways that you can let your husband know without even saying a word. And I'm going to share those tips with you. One of my secrets is that I don't wait until the nighttime come to let my husband know that I want to be intimate with him. I kind of let him know throughout the day without saying a word. It's more to do with my actions in the daytime. Sometimes I just accidentally bump into my husband or I touch him and the way that I do it is kind of like he don't know that I did it on purpose. You will be surprised how just little things like that make your mate want to be with you. Or when we're sitting down on the couch watching TV, I may um, touch his leg with my feet or I, like I accidentally touch his hand or his neck. The mind and our imagination is very powerful. And you'll be surprised the small little things that you can do to make your husband want to be intimate with you. One thing I love about not having any children at home is that I can wear cute little things around the house because no one else is there but him and I. And... That's my way of teasing him without saying a word. If you don't have little cute things that you can wear when you guys are at home alone, you do need to buy you some things like that. That's important and it also make you feel pretty. There is nothing wrong with teasing your husband. That is a good way to keep a sparkle in your relationship. Don't ever take each other for granted. Fix yourself up daily. Even though my husband and I have been married for a long time, I still fix myself up daily. When I wake up in the morning, my husband is usually already gone because he gets up very early. So what I try to always do is make sure that I am dressed before he come back home because I don't want him to see me with my bonnet on. I want to be fully dressed. The key to keeping intimacy in your relationship one of the things is to don't ever take each other for granted, meaning as not so much in with giving to each other or doing special things for each other. Even with the way that you dress, fix yourself up. Don't walk around with your bonnet on all day. Wear perfume on a daily basis. All of that is important in a relationship. This may sound crazy, but when it's time for my husband and I to go to bed, I wait till he go to sleep before I put my bonnet on. And the reason why is because I want him to see me going to bed looking cute. And that is whether we're going to be intimate or not. I just, I just want to look good for him. And one thing I can say that since I do that for him. He also does it for me. He keep his appearance up. One of the main things that I have learned is by me just caring about things like that to where the average woman may not think it's important, but it is important. It keeps him interested in me. And it also let him know that I care about the way he feel about me and the way that I look. I think it helps keep our intimacy relationship fresh just by me caring about my appearance. So whether or not I'm going to be intimate with my husband, I want to go to bed looking cute. I don't own any long nightgowns, long pajamas, <laughs> because I really do feel that that is why we have never lost our sparkle in our relationship. 
when you are getting ready to be intimate with your husband, don't be afraid to take the lead. It's okay to be aggressive and don't be predictable. It's okay to try something new. You don't need permission. I have a question for you. What tip do you like the best? If you like my message and you just want to support me, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell. I have a Facebook group called Chats with Flo and it's all about self-development. I talk about a little bit of everything and there are some things that I would have liked to add it to this video, but there are certain things that I'm not comfortable with putting in a video for the public. So if you want to discuss with me more about this topic, join my Facebook group. I would love to have you there and it's only for women. Thank you for tuning in and make sure to stay tuned for the next upload of how to keep your husband sexually interested into you. Bye.